Okay, we have the Uno R3 versus Pro Micro versus Node MCU. Let's get it on. First off, we have the Uno R3. This thing is the Cadillac of Arduinos. If you want it all, I mean, excluding Wi-Fi capabilities and stuff like that, but I mean, you have a lot of pins here. You have 5 volt, 3.3 volt, so you can power sensors and higher powered stuff. Um, if you wanted more pins, you go with the Mega, of course, but this is the most popular one for a reason. There are a million shields out for it. That is an exaggeration, but I mean, touch screen. There's a motor shield you pop on. This can power four motors and two uh, servos, or two steppers and two servos. I used this to make an autonomous uh, vehicle before. Uh, basic prototype shield. You got a breadboard on top. Um, some connections. All your pins. This is good for, you know, I put a sensor on top or LED to test it. and This is, this is really good stuff to have. There's so much stuff for this that it's the best thing for someone getting into this that's new. You're, you're not going to get lost with this. Lots of code, lots of videos. This is very heavily talked about. Next we have the Pro Micro. Now this one's a little harder <laughs> to find stuff about. Um, it's basically the same thing, just smaller. You have a little less pins. There's a 5 volt and 3.3 volt version. My problem with that is I have a bunch of 5 volt versions, but say I want to power a 3.3 volt sensor, I'm going to have to to do that with wires and, and other things where this has both of them built in so I can plug one into five one into 3.3 and power a sensor and a motor at the same time so that that's a plus for that a little minus for that but what you lose in that capability you gain in size I mean look at this compared to this you can fit how many of these in, in this board so basically you prototype with this, this is really good to shrink it down and start using it in, in things, 3D print something small, I'll put it in there. Also these are HID compliant, so you can use these as a mouse or keyboard controller, uh, sensor controller, motion sensor controller, whatever you can think of, there's examples everywhere. Uh, this is really good for that, but I'd still say this is the way to go if you just want to throw stuff together and try stuff out. Um, next up I'll speak about the Node MCU. Now this one is a champ. Built in Wi-Fi capability right off the bat. So within five minutes of getting this I was using my phone's web browser to switch lights on and off and and stuff like that. So this is very simple. I programmed it with Arduino ID. You can use Lua and other stuff but um, that's the route I went. The only thing is the pins are a little wacky there. Like say the TX pin on here is pin 2 for the Arduino. They're not the same pin layout or, or compatibility with that. Um, that gets a minus for me. But if you need Wi-Fi, you can always hook these up to these Arduinos and, and have these go Wi-Fi with it. So that, that's kind of a plus. You could use it by itself or use it with these. I'd say the, the biggest downfall is the, the pin fact. The pins are a little wacky. So once you figure out what pins are actually what in Arduino ID, you, you should be fine. So if I had to pick who's the winner, I'd say it's us. Because companies keep making this, they're getting cheaper and cheaper. I bought this for 10, these are like six, seven dollars, seven or eight dollars. We're all winners. But I can't really pick a winner out of these because they all have their own purposes. These are really good for prototyping, really good for real life application and, and computer interfaces. And this is really good for, you know, Internet of Things, remote switches, uh, servers, making these talk to other ones and, and connecting everything around it. So they all have their advantages and disadvantages. I'd say if you're new and you don't own one, get one of these if you get good with these get one of these if you need these to talk to each other or you're done with these and just want Wi-Fi capability get yourself a node MCU so get them all they're cheap buy them all 